this video is going to show you what Wonder.me is and how we're going to be using it during IdeaCon TCA's collaboration. So Wonder.me is a tool that lets you have online gatherings that help bring that virtual space and make it more social where people can meet and talk. That's one of the things we find is missing from all of these amazing virtual events that are occurring is that time to meet up and socialize with people. So we're hoping that this helps with that. And the way we're going to use it during the conference is we're going to help bring the idea exchange into this platform. If you remember the idea exchange from the IdeaCon conference, it's an area in the center of the expo hall where there's different events, people come to learn there, people also just come to gather and meet up with other people and chat, maybe debrief about things they've learned and network. Let's take a look at how Wonder.me works and how you're going to access the conference Wonder.me page. So we're going to share the link with you in different ways, but I also want to show you that there is a bit.ly for it. So you can type bit.ly slash 13 wonderful days and this is going to get you to the page. So first we have to go through a couple little basic steps, accept all the cookies, and then you'll see your camera turn on and type your name first. Smile for the camera. And this picture is going to be what is going to be used in the room. You can retake it if you don't like it. I'm also going to show you how to upload your own in just a moment. Go ahead and click next at this part and then we're going to check your sound. If you get a pop-up in your browser, make sure you allow that so your microphone and your audio work. And then now we're in the room. And I'll take a tour in just a moment, but I do want to explain this is browser-based, so Wonder.me is going to work best on a laptop device. Okay, It will work on a phone or a tablet, but it will look a little different and again, recommended is to use a laptop device to access this. So. Here you could see the picture, the circle that I just took. That is me, and this is me in the room. Let's navigate and see what we're seeing here. So the first thing I'm gonna suggest is that you zoom out so you can see the entire room. You can also do that by clicking the plus and minus on the top left-hand corner, or you could just use your trackpad. And now you could see the whole space. So the room is the entire space that we're looking at. And this can hold up to 1,500 people. You're also gonna see different little squares around, and these are called areas. And these areas are gonna help you kind of navigate to where you might wanna go and hang out. So we, for this example, just name these room one, two, three, and four. We're gonna change those and make them more specific. But let's say, for example, I wanted to go to room one. What you do to move around in this space is you can take your cursor and wherever your cursor clicks on, your little picture is going to follow. And that's how you move it around. So now I'm in room one's area. And if other people get to this space, I'm going to show you how to actually join a circle. And the circle that you join, that can hold up to 15 people. And that's more of like a way to have an intimate conversation with a small group just like as you would in a physical space you would have about 15 people any more than that would be a little much so I think that's the idea with having a cap for the circles having 15 people and again I'm going to show you what that looks like in just a moment let's take a look at some of the settings that you have options to on the top right hand corner on the top, you'll see this participants, and this lets you see who is in the entire room, either near you or all. So if there was tons of people here, it's gonna show you a listing of all the people in here. The next button is the chat. So I could chat with people, either with everyone, privately, or in the circle that I'm in, okay? The next one is for presenters. So if you're a presenter in this space, you would click this icon and it would share um, your screen with people and you, it would let you broadcast to the entire room. This is only again for presenters for the space. And then the last icon is your settings. You can, here you can change your information. So you can change your name and picture, 
If I click on that, I can retype my name. I can upload my own picture or avatar, or I can retake my selfie if I wanted to, and then I would click update to update those changes. I can also work on my video input or audio input in this area. Okay, so those are the basic settings. That's the layout of the room and how it works. And in a moment, I'm going to show you how to actually join a circle with some people so you can have conversations with. So here is how you can connect with other people in the room so you can join a circle with them and have conversations. There's two different ways. One is, so here's my circle and here's another individual. One of the ways is I can click on their circle just like this and then I can select invite to circle. I could even message them if I wanted to but when I do invite to circle they're going to get a little notification to join a circle with me and then it's automatically gonna put us in a circle to have a conversation. Another way is just to take your mouse and click towards the person and then once you click on that circle, automatically watch what happens. It joins us in a room, our own little circle. Hi, Billy. Oh, Maria. Hello. Hello. So now you can see that our videos are on, we can see each other, and now we can have a conversation. And reminder, in this space we can have up to 15 per people in our circle. So you can have as little as two or as many as 15. And then once you're ready to maybe leave this circle or exit, all you do is click on your circle. So I'm about to close out of this, Billy. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Maria. Just drag out of the circle and then now you'll see that I am now back in the main room and I can go maybe to another circle or another space in the area or I could just exit. So that is how to have a conversation with another person in the room or other people. Just like that.